An unusual warning out today about your cell phone and cancer, that you should be very careful, and your kids basically shouldn't really be using them at all. One researcher puts it this way, do you want to play Russian roulette with your brain? This warning comes after the director of the University of Pittsburgh Cancer Institute sent a blunt message to his faculty and his staff saying that everybody, especially children, should limit their cell phone use because of the possible risk of brain cancer. Dr. David Carpenter is one of the experts who signed this letter of warning. He is the director of the Institute for Health and the Environment at the University of Albany. Doctor, thank you for being here. This does seem unprecedented and unusual. Why issue this warning? I mean, is it tied to some research that has yet to come out? Well, there's been a, a fair bit of research on this subject over uh, the last several years, but the evidence is growing. It still isn't absolutely proven, but when you use a cell phone, the radio frequency that carries the information is the same kind of, I of radio frequency that dries your microwave oven, that will cook your potato. Now, our standards are set to uh, avoid excessive heating, as you would have in a microwave oven. But results from Scandinavia particularly, and also now a new study from Israel, show that people that use cell phones regularly for 10 years or more are more likely to get brain tumors, tumors of the parotid gland, the salivary gland that's on the side of the face, or tumors of the auditory nerve uh, than people that do not use cell phones. I hate to say it, Doc, uh, but you... We know that you sound like you just described almost all of us. I mean, are we looking potentially at an epidemic of brain cancer? Precisely. That's what our concern is. And rather than repeat the dangers that we, uh, the problems that we had with smoking and lung cancer, we feel, those of us in the public health community, that at least we need to send the message out now. You can't walk down the street without seeing every 10-year-old on their right. cell phone. It's a status symbol. It's something that's cool, and uh, kids are spending enormous times on cell phones. Uh, and it's really with the kids' brain. Be, yeah, because their brain's developing? Their brain's developing, but also their brain is smaller, and therefore the exposure to a child's brain is greater than that is in an adult's brain. Doctor, we just have about 30 seconds but left, but what do you suggest that people do? Cell phones are not going away. We're also tied to them. How do we use them safely? I mean, you basically say don't have your kids use them unless it's an emergency, but, but for adults, how do we use them? Well, use a landline when you can. When you use a cell phone, get the, the generator away from your body. Just a little ways will make a, long dif a lot of difference. Uh, don't use cell phones when you can use a landline. Respect the fact that radio frequency radiation may cause very serious diseases. Mm. Dr. David Carpenter, University of Albany. Uh, very interesting stuff today, Doc. Thank you. Of course, all of our kids wanted cell phones, and they all have them, and they all use them, and now I'm thinking, hmm. That'll get your attention. Sure uh, will. You know, they have said that in the past, if you listen closely, when those studies come out, they say there's no direct link. For years, there's no direct link. But at the bottom of those studies, they always say, you know what you should probably do is use the earpiece and keep them away from your body. And now it sounds like some of these doctors, anyway, are now starting to coalesce around the argument that they better be safe than sorry. And they haven't been around that long, really. Right.